matrix multiplication, visual simplification. This is going to be a very simple um, video explaining how to use matrix multiplication in a very visual, simple ap approach. So to do that, I'm just going to create here first some objects. I'm just going to create a cube, a cylinder, for instance. Just going to create this cube and just going to make the icon a little longer or the, the shape. And I'm just going to create also a locator here. OK, so with three, uh, these three objects, I'm going to create some examples to explain how it works. And um, I hope it makes sense at the end of the explanation. So first thing, I'm just going to use the mGear matrix multiplication node. I can use the Maya one, the, the default one. The advantage of this one is that uh, you can see here the values of the matrix. So it's a four by four um, matrix. And um, in the Maya one, you, you cannot see this value. So sometimes you want to debug something or you want to see some values or it's, it's more convenient this one. But it has a limitation that it's only matrix A and B. So in Maya, you can have much more matrix. I mean, any number of matrix multiplications. OK, so let's do this initial connection. So I'm just going to use the, um, the cylinder as a reference object to, to see what's going on. And I need to create another node that it's the compose matrix. So basically, this one is going to take the matrix output here and they compose it in scale rotation translation on Maya 2000. Uh, 19 or 20 I don't remember this is the, the parent matrix offset so you can connect matrix directly to the transforms but we are in 2018 so we don't have that so we're gonna do it like this okay so output with I don't know why asking always for other is the only input possible it's input matrix anyway um so I have this here and now I'm just gonna connect the rotate with rotate, the scale with the scale, and the translate with translate. And uh, I don't know why. Yep. Okay. Here, scale. Great. So we have this, and I'm just gonna use the cube as um as a uh, like control, and I'm just gonna take the wall matrix of the cube and plug it to the first matrix A. So basically, here you can see in the left side that the uh, cylinder just jump it on top of the cube and it's kind of a constraint so you can rotate you can scale and everything is following one to another so that's great so basically what we're doing it's uh, indeed we don't need to multiply anything here we can plug it directly this to this and it's gonna be the same so it's no sense because the other matrix it's like um, neutral so it's one 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 here on the on the diagonal and it's just gonna give you the same value Okay, cool. So I have this. What else I can do? Okay, look. If I have this parented, so here in my outliner, if I take my cylinder, that is the reference object, and I'm just going to parent it under the uh, locator, look at that. Now the locator, of course, is the parent of this object. So now we have this uh, parent that acts as an offset for this matrix multiplication. So if I put the locator on the world space or the, the zero in the world space, you can see we have the same result that we had before. OK, so that's that's interesting. What else can we do? OK, so if we remove again this hierarchy, oh, let's keep it. Let's keep it for, for the sake of this. I'm just going to duplicate this cube, cube two. And I'm just going to change the shape a little bit so we can distinguish between one of the other. So just to have some visual, visual reference here. Okay, so locators here is the parent. And now I'm going to check. I'm just going to reset this first here. And I'm just going to multiply the wall matrix of this second with the wall matrix of the other. So nothing changed here because I'm in the reset position. But as soon as I move this, you can see it's adding one on top of the other. So multiplying two matrix, it's going to give you the sum of the matrix. So kind of, I, I can show you in a more like maybe empiric ways here. So I have this object that's zero, zero values. So I move this, like, let's say three. 
and then I move this, let's say, uh, 2, for instance. No? So 2 plus 3 is going to be 5. So that's uh, that's what you get. So it's kind of a, an offset. So it's adding this plus this. Of course, his parent also will add this. So it's it's similar, similar, not exactly that uh, parenting, because here when you parent, you see this is rotating like this, but here it's going to work based on the center of the... Um, uh, this uh, like here. So the second one, yeah, it's gonna work like a parent. So it's not exactly when you multiply, but yeah, you can see the difference here. Okay, what else can we do here? And this is the other concept that is interesting: is we can use the invert of the matrix to multiply this. And in order to to do that, I'm just gonna take here the whole matrix and. I'm just going to use the world inverse matrix that is the, the plug here. So I'm just going to change that. So let me world inverse matrix, matrix B. So now my first cube is doing what you expected, but the, the second cube is doing the inverse and it's creating this mirror effect. So if you have like, uh, we will use this technique later, but if you have like a Greek that moves something, but you need to offset back for any reason this Greek in a neutral position, you can use this inverse uh, matrix multiplication. So when you have this offset happening, you have another that inverts and bloop, and brings your object back. So you, you will see later that it's a very useful concept. And also in the next video, we will talk about a skinning and pre, pre by matrix. And you will see that this concept is also very, very useful for many, many situations in Rigging. And not only for skinning, but also other uh, deformers has this uh, pre by matrix that can be used to multiply by the inverse and create this kind of effects. Um, so we have this and we have also this uh, parent uh, going on here. The other thing that we can do is take the inverse matrix of the parent and this will neutralize the, the parent uh, movement here. So now the parent is moving here. So if I take and let's create another matrix multiplication um, like this. So I take the output and I bring to this first one. I take the output here, do the output uh, input matrix. And now I'm just going to take the inverse or inverse of the parent and connect to the second matrix. So you can see now I can move the parent and the child doesn't move because I'm inverting. So I'm saying to the like the same thing. I'm inverting. So if the parent will move here, so when I move the, the object, will will drag the, the object in his position, the parent. But because I'm saying invert, so it's going to bring it back. So the result effect is that you can move the parent without moving the object. That's an important uh, concept also. OK, so I think that's it for this visual simplification. So just get with this matrix multiplication. It's kind of adding. If you multiply by the inverse of the matrix, it's a kind of inverting or mirroring things. So these two concepts are the, the most important takeaways from, from this video. And I hope it's not been uh, too simple, but uh, hopefully it's going to be uh, uh, useful. And in the future videos, you will see how to apply this to different situations. OK, so that's it for this video. See you.